In this short video today, we'll demonstrate how to generate ArcFlash labels from the ArcFlash hazard report using the ArcFlash analysis. First thing you have to do is open up a design. In this case, we're using Protection 1. Get into short circuit focus. Ensure that you're generating the ArcFlash spreadsheet. Fault any buses. Hit F8 to pull up the report is at the bottom of the window. Select the report, which gives you the uh, option to label. Click on the label here. Brings up the printing window, the printing preview window. And the printing preview window has multiple sections. The first section is a label comment, optional label comment you can put on the labels. I'm going to type in just a sample here. And this label comment is applied to all labels second thing you can do is select a template for the label. In other words, it describes how to take the information from the ArcFlash has a report and display it in a label. In this case, these are just some samples here. We include all these with Easy Power. I'm going to select this one here. The third thing you have to do is decide on how you want to lay them out on your printed page. And this is highly dependent on what kind of print you have and um, how you want them to look on the page as well. So for example here I'm using Avery stock. It's, it can display two rows, two columns and three rows of labels on a page. And it's an eight and a half by eleven page. If I have a die cut printer I might use something like this or it's a single label per page or I want to rotate it clockwise because it comes out that way from the printer. I can also turn off the header on the label. So if I have a printer, for example, that has a pre-printed header on the top here, on the right hand side top, I would select a template like this and a page layout like this because it's rotated this way. If it printed it out with the header on the left side, I would tell it to rotate that way. If you want to see all the details it's using for the printed page, you can open that and see them all here. In this case, the page size is a 4x6, the label is also 4x6, only one row and one column, no margins. I'm scaling the label to print. You can turn that off. So, if, And that's useful if you have a design that doesn't completely fill out the label. It will scale it up or scale it down likewise. Um, and you can center the label within the area as well or not center it and default here is centered. Um, if you want to look to see exactly how it's laid out on a page, again if I select something like the Avery here and where the label definitions are you can display a little outline that shows you exactly where the label are on the page. And as you can see, again, this is scale to fit. Turn it off. It's just going to stick in the upper left-hand corner as well. So, The other option you have on the bottom, which is sometimes helpful, is if you have a piece of paper that you've already previously printed labels on and you don't want to, you want to reuse the rest of the paper, you can turn off individual labels on the page. Let's say you just printed this one, the top first two, and maybe the third one down. Then it's only going to print out and this only works for the first page as well, the, the last three labels on the page. Um, you can also control the label rotation here as well, so how the label gets displayed within the label area that you find above. The last thing you can do is control which devices are printed. In this case I told to print all but I don't have to do that. I can change my mind. I can print just bus 10, the refiner, and the panel 1. You can also control how many labels per device you want printed. So for this example I would say well I need two labels for bus 10. As you can see that's in here, here, and here. Um, and the panel I need let's say 4. You can browse through the pages. In this case, I only have two pages. Let's re-enable back all the pages again. 
you can look through the pages exactly how they'd be printed. And it's important to note again that the outline you see here is not enabled by default. And it's also not visible when you print. It's only visible in the preview. Now some labels um, by their very nature come out rotated. So let's take the example here of the label printed out clockwise because that's the, your label stock in your printer. You can tell it to rotate that so that when you're looking at the different labels you don't have to look sideways. That's what the auto rotate does. You can also zoom up the label to look at it closer. Turn back on auto rotate. You can tell it to show you the label as it would actually be printed. That's true size here. Or you can tell it to zoom it all the way up to fit um, your window that you have. Once you're happy with your comments, your label template, and your page layout, all you have to do now is click on print, select a printer. In this case, I'm going to print to PDF to say paper. Click OK. And the PDF is going to prompt me for a file to save it to. And also it's going to name the uh, document title, as you can see, with all the information about what you printed. Likewise, the file. And you're done. And here are the labels. And obviously they're going to look different on an actual physical printer. And that is it. And the, uh, what, it's important to note, once you successfully printed some labels, it automatically closed the window and you're back to the ArcFlash report and your design as well.